Today, we'll introduce you to words that'll change your vocabulary. Most of these words you've probably never heard of. The amazing thing though is that these words and names are actually things that most people all over the world experience or see on a daily basis but don't know the name to, or just never came across what they are really called but never gave it much thought. At the end of this video, do tell us what your favorite word is and which one you'll probably use on a daily basis. Number 15. Dysania. Do you find it really hard to get out of bed when your alarm goes off? Maybe you have dysania, which is defined as the state of finding it hard to get out of bed in the morning. It's not technically a medical condition, but the next time you find yourself snoozing the alarm 50 million times on a Monday morning and was late to work, blame it on dysania. Number 14. Aglet. They're probably the best inventions after shoes. They are the plastic coating at the ends of a shoelace. Imagine how difficult it would be to put shoelaces through the shoe holes if they had frayed or unraveled edges. Number 13. Phosphines. Let's do a little exercise. Close your eyes. Now lightly press your palm or fingers over your closed eyelids. The light that you see in the absence of light are called phosphines. Pretty cool, huh? Number 12. Feral. Everyone who has used a pencil in their life has seen a feral. Some of you out there might have grown a janky habit of biting into them when you were a kid. The ferrule is the metal part at the end of the pencil that attaches it to the eraser. Who knew that thing had a name? Number 11. Keeper. We're not talking about that hottie that you met at a bar. It's the loop on a belt that keeps the end in place after it has passed through the buckle. That's definitely a keeper. Number 10. Zarf. If you love heading to Starbucks for a hot cup of coffee, a zarf is the cardboard sleeve on a coffee cup that keeps your fingers from getting burnt. In the past, it was made from precious metals to hold cups that had no handles and used in complex coffee rituals in Turkey. Number 9. Interbank. My wife loves interbanks. Get your mind out of the gutter though. It may sound like a naughty word, but an interbank is a punctuation mark. It's a combination of a question mark with an exclamation point, like this. The actual punctuation looks like this. You use it on those exclamatory rhetorical questions like, What the F? Or, Seriously? Or, Are you kidding me? Number 8. Grolix. In terms of expressing your emotions, this one takes it to the next level from Interrobang. It's the series of symbols used in comics in place of actual profanity. It was created by Mort Walker, creator of Beetle Bailey Comics. Number 7. Nibbling. If you're an uncle or an aunt, then you have a nibbling, which is the non-gender specific term for a niece or nephew, like sibling. Number 6. Cornicione. This one is for the foodies and pizza lovers out there. As we all know, the bottom part of the pizza is called the crust the edge or lip of a pizza, which most people mistakenly call as the crust, is the cornicione. Number 5. Hamburger button. Unfortunately, this one does not have anything to do with food. It pertains to the button that you click or tap on to get access to the menu options. The three-line navigational icon is named hamburger button because it looks like a hamburger. Number 4. Earworm. It's that song you cannot get out of your head. And the only way to get rid of it is to listen to another catchy song. You would know what I mean when you hear It's a Small World one time and it sticks with you for a whole week, driving you to madness. Number 3. Simordnilap. Palindromes are words that are the same when spelled backwards or forwards. 
Subordinates are the exact opposite as they are words that mean one thing forward and another backward, like stressed and desserts. Some other examples include damn, mad, and of course, Simordnilap itself, spelled backwards, is palindrome. Number 2. Kammerspeck The Germans have a word that needs to be brought to the mainstream. Kammerspeck It's the excess weight you gain from emotional eating. Its literal translation? Grief bacon. Number 1. Rectal tenesmus we put this at number one because we believe that this word is badly needed to capture a complex feeling of frustration that we feel in the bathroom sometimes. You can relate if at least once in your life you have spent 30 minutes sitting in the toilet and not just because you need a break, but because you have a feeling of incomplete defecation. Shouldn't we all be entitled to a feeling of lightness and relief after dropping deuces? If you like this video, Please give us a thumbs up. For more interesting facts and stories, subscribe to our channel and click on the post notification button to know when we upload a new video. Remember, stay fox curious.